first thing we got to do is to head to Shin Osaka Station because we're catching a Shinkansen that leaves for Tokyo at 12.06. It is currently 11. on the train to Shin Osaka and when we get to Shin Osaka station we're gonna go check out a whole series of different like bento boxes and things like that which I cannot wait to check out um, my train leaves at Shin Osaka station at 12.09 it is currently 11.20 um, and I get to Shin Osaka station at 11.37 so we have about a half an hour well, 20 minutes to look for food and then to head to our station. Okay, I've just arrived at Shin Osaka Station and there is a whole series of different bentos that I can choose from. I think I'm gonna choose two different varieties um, they all look really really good okay I've just got my food for my two and a half hour ride and um, it is now 2, uh, 11 47 and I'm at the uh, Shinkansen gates so I've got like 20 minutes because my, my my train is at 12.09 and um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to show you what I've got in my like lunchbox thing because it's so colorful and it's got like so many different elements to it. I actually don't even really know what's actually in it. Um, it just looked really, really nice. So hence why I got it. Inside there seems to be like even more food shops. So let's head in and, and check it out as well. Check out the amount of food that's also in here. I wonder if they're a little bit expensive in here. Oh, actually no, they're, they're about the same price. Um, but honestly, I don't think they're vastly different from what was available at the store that I was at earlier. But um, I'm gonna head onto the platform now. It's on platform 26 and find the carriage that my seat's supposed to be on. Okay, I'm not going to be switching to voiceover because the Shinkansen, although packed, was extremely quiet. So as you can see, I ended up getting a green tea and not one, but two boxes of food. It was packed beautifully like a present and I would have loved to unwrap it in front of you, but I only got one hand, so here we go. See, I didn't realize I was swinging this box a bit too much and all the egg pieces went everywhere. Sorry if this ruined the aesthetics. Essentially, there were 10 different elements to the bento box. Two bigger squares, which had your mains and rice, and a series of different side dishes. Don't worry, I'll brush the egg bits away and show you what's underneath later. First thing I went for was this eggplant. It was soft, tasted like soy sauce, and overall, pretty yummy. This one was marinated bamboo shoots. It wasn't bad. And this, well, let's give it a go. I will work on my chopstick skills, just bear with me. I'm still not completely sure what that was, but it had the texture of a potato, and it had like seaweed sprinkled on the outside. I didn't give an expression, but it was okay. And this was pickled radish. I like things with vinegar, so I liked it. And moving on to the mains. It had vegetables, prawn, egg, and something in a white container. We'll start off with the marinated puffy tofu. It was spongy and salty, but overall, not bad. Even though it gave zero reaction here. And second, this innocent little bean. Didn't think much of it until it took my first bite and let me tell you it was bitter. I kind of wanted to spit it out, but then I also didn't want to be offensive, so I didn't. But I didn't like it. The green bean tasted like a green bean, nothing special. Now this one, this is actually rolled up seaweed. It's a bit slimy, it's a bit salty, and despite my expression, I actually didn't mind it. And now the marinated lotus root, that was pretty good. And what else is part of the mains, you ask? Well, we have our tamago. And you really can't go wrong with Japanese egg omelette. It was really good. 
Now onto the rice. While I love for my rice to be hot and not clunky, I appreciate that it's flavored and has mushroom bits mixed throughout the rice too. It's quite nice. And these are just shredded carrots, nothing too special. Now can you tell by looking at this what it actually is? Don't worry, I didn't know what it was either, but it's actually soy marinated pork. And I actually quite enjoy it, despite making this face again. And the prawn? The prawn wasn't too bad, but I'm not a fan of prepackaged seafood or even seafood on, say, airplanes, if you know what I mean. Like, it wasn't bad, but I actually like the pork a lot better. And I make this face again where I'm like, eh, not bad. Okay, now onto the sweet potato. This tasted sweet with the texture of a potato. And that is just veggies in a container. This was how fast the Shinkansen was going. Everything was wobbling in front of my eyes. And I think this was minced Chinese mushrooms. It was okay. Okay, so this was it for the bento box. My favorite part of this was probably the egg followed by the pork and then the rice. And before we move on to the other box of food. Okay, so the lady next to me saw me filming my Shinkansen lunch boxes in silence and then she got curious and she asked me what I was doing and I was like oh I just filmed for YouTube <clears throat> and then she gave me all these snacks so this is a matcha biscuit that she gave me this is a strawberry flavor biscuit I think and then this is I think it's a it's a bun type of thing and then she also gave me a a chocolate mochi type thing as well. She was so nice. But right now, I still have the pork katsu sandwich that I still have to eat. So let's jump right in. Just like the other box, this was also beautifully packaged and inside were three pork katsu sandwiches. It had a thick piece of pork with lettuce, Japanese mayo between two slices of white bread with the crust cut off. I was surprised the bread wasn't soggy, but I kind of wish it had more sauce on it because it was a little bit dry. But the flavors are all there. And if I had this fresh, I imagine it would be amazing. And this is just me contemplating life, watching the world go by. And before we knew it, we had arrived in Tokyo. Now I just gotta find the other train that I need to change onto in order to get to my hotel for tonight. Google Maps it is. Okay, I'm gonna try and find my way to the hotel, but I'm gonna stop the vlog here. This is a relatively short vlog, so if you're still watching, thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. Check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And now let's try the candy that was given to us. Let's try the chocolate mochi first. I actually took a bite out of it um, and forgot to turn on the mic. It's not bad. Surprisingly, it's not too sweet. Okay, and then this is the... In Chinese, this says it's like a, a bun type thing. Oh, interesting. Look. So it's, it's got like a green tea sort of exterior and then inside is is like red bean and the green tea exterior it's quite bready if, if that makes sense i've got two more snacks one green tea one strawberry i think i'll have one today and then save one for the next day i kind of want the green tea one so i'm gonna open the green tea one now This one's my fave. It's got like a green tea cream inside and then on the exterior it's like um it's like egg rolls. Mmm, I love this one. I'm literally just eating all the lollies that a stranger gave me on the train today. But she seemed really nice, so it's fine.